Good morning. Welcome to RV There Again, where we take our RV and we travel to historic sites around the U.S. Today we're in historic St. Augustine. It was founded in 1565. It's the home to the oldest masonry fort in the United States, the oldest one-room wooden schoolhouse, the fountain of youth, and the narrowest street in the United States. So come with us as we take a look. Well, we made it to St. Augustine, just a few short minutes away from our campground. One of the great things about this area is there's RV parking very close to downtown. So just a couple minute walk and we'll be in the historic St. Augustine. All right, here we are at the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the United States. We're gonna take a walk inside here. And one thing to note, is the heavy metal chain that they would put around buildings like this to keep it from blowing away during a hurricane. As you walk around St. Augustine, keep an eye out on the coquina walls made of seashells. You might see an old cannonball dent. This Treasury Street in St. Augustine, it's just over six feet wide. Legend has it that it was built that way so that two men could carry a chest of gold through the street, but a horse-drawn carriage wouldn't be able to fit through. That is because on one side you have the port with all the ships, and the other side you have the old Spanish treasury, and pirates were everywhere those days. And also, have you ever heard of um, Pirates of the Caribbean for Dead Men Tell No Tales. Disney got the expression from Dead Men Tell No Tales right there from that paragraph. Second last sentence on the left, last sentence says for Dead Men Tell No Tales. That's where Gibbs, where Disney got the guy's name Gibbs from Pirates of the Caribbean. Some places you can read about history, and the places you can see history, the Pirate Museum, you can actually touch history. It's a 400 year old pirate chest. the old powder room okay so this is the old powder room the oldest room in the fort it was used to store gunpowder but they found out that it was too damp in here so they turned this into a trash room and then eventually sealed it off when they unsealed it they found piles of animal bones in this building through this door is a replica of the British bunkhouse. Now they'd sleep four people per bunk, so one on top, one on the bottom during the day, and then they'd rotate at night. So at the base of the bunk, you can see a spot for four guns, four hats, and four coats. Most of the rooms on the east side of the fort were used for housing, storing gunpowder, ammunition. The rooms on the west side of the fort, for the most part, were used for storage, like this room here. This is part of the soldiers' barracks, and what we find here on the walls are pictures of ships, and in one case we see the alphabet. Many of the sailors were illiterate, and this is where they practiced their ABCs. One of the cool things about the way this fort was built, when you look at it from the outside, it looks like the walls come straight up to the fort itself. What they didn't know is that if you get over the first set of walls, there's a big moat here. So attackers would come over the top here thinking they only had to climb up five or six feet, but in reality, it's more like 50. Arrive at Fountain of Youth. Arrive. All right, we made it to the Fountain of Youth. They provide a very big campground parking lot. Okay, we've made it to the Fountain of Youth. This is the first settlement in America's oldest city, founded by Pedro Menendez de Villas in 1565. 